Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be doing kind of like a breakdown of the animated short film, Our Housing. Now, this was for a local animated short, well, actually, sorry, a local short film festival called Lights, Camera, Action. We will go through the good stuff, and then we'll leave the end. So let's just kind of give you a little bit of background. You've got 10 days to make a short film using either 10 items or 10 locations from around Canberra. Now I used a blender, a perception neuron for motion capture, and a lot of the motion capture data went into, actually all the motion capture data went into Reillusions, iClone, um, and those characters came from Character Creator 3. Now I did use another application that they've just released, which is ActorCore. And for some of the background characters, I actually just grabbed those animations like this one. Now, this is just the real estate agent kind of walking around in a bit of a loop. It was good because it just kind of added a little bit of extra to the scene. I do have an idea for a short film and I'm going to be using ActorCore quite heavily. I just want to use only default animations and see what we can create with that. Um, they've definitely got some really cool stuff. So make sure you go check that out and everything else with Reillusion. There is a link in the description. It saved my butt for this one. So let's talk about the good things. Some of the good things are was, is I created in Blender. I thought about using Unreal Engine, but there would have been a lot of extra work of importing models from Blender into Unreal Engine. I didn't want to have to worry about that. But I used Eevee to render. I used an application called FSpy to kind of use images as a reference so I could model off that. Now I do have a tutorial on what I'm talking about there. There is a link in the description for that stuff. And the fact as well was that I pretty much live streamed the whole creation process. Some of it was on YouTube, some of it was on Twitch, but the fact was is I was able to live stream it all. Um, a lot of people turned out, a lot more people didn't, but um, that was really good that I was able to talk through the process. So I wanted kind of like a really good start to the film and I thought the first shot of the foot tapping, freaking perfect. I loved it. It worked so well. The fact that I was able to use the Perception Neuron and Reillusion's Eye Clone and kind of get those motions just quickly happening was just fantastic. I've tried to do hand animating and I mean, yes, it can be done. However, it is time consuming and that would have severely restricted on what I could do. Another thing was that it scratched my acting itch. Being able to put the motion capture suit on and the facial motion capture I loved it. I can't really go out and about because there are so many commitments, but that's not an excuse to not be creative. So in that sense, it was great. Now I had a lot of help from uh, quite a few people. Um, there was Netwinder over on Twitch, Little Chief 69 on Twitch. Um, we had Curtis Holt from YouTube, Atrillo from YouTube and Twitter. Um, who's the other one? Paul Kagegi, he did a voice for me as well. And the field dimension from Ian Hubert's Discord. A big thank you to him as well for helping me out. All these people you got to check out. There was a special thanks to Ben as well, uh, who's a dear friend of mine who I've known for over a decade. And the reason why I want to call him out is because he is someone whose opinion I value. Now, the issue is, is because we only got the theme you know, a couple of days, I think a week before the festival actually started, before we could actually start technically animating, which I did, I only started on the Friday. Um, but it was more the fact that I was able to give him a script and he was able to come back, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? And it made me think about the direction of the film and what works and what doesn't. You need to find people who you can trust. So... When you give them something, you value their opinion. You're not just giving it to them and being an ask hole, okay? An ask hole. So you're just asking a question and the response they're giving is just going into a pit. If you're doing that, you need to refocus on yourself. Now, luckily enough, I was able to talk to Ben quite a bit, um, constantly almost giving him daily updates on what the animations are like, what's the story like, what have I changed, and so on and so forth. And he was able to pick apart everything. And everything he said made sense. To the point where the film didn't get accepted into the short film festival. He was able to go, this is your big problem that needs to be fixed. Now, I did try and fix that problem. However, it didn't work. 
But at the end of the day, this is what the competition about is forcing yourself to create something in a short time of frame, frame of time. And I can most definitely say that I did it. Now, is it a perfect animation? It's not. It is far from it. But I had 10 days to do it. And I made a four and a half minute short film in 10 days, the longest animated short film that I've ever created. And I achieved it. So this was my big stumbling block, was my story. My story wasn't good enough. And luckily enough, I was able to go back to the festival directors, like every year I do, and go, what could I have done better? And that was the killer, my story. Now, if you haven't seen the film, go watch it before I pretty much talk about this. Probably should have said it at the start. But you'll understand, you get to the end, and then there's nothing. It's just, oh, okay. There's no big revelation. That was the killer for this film. I know when I submitted it, I knew that that ending just wasn't there. But we learn. That's the most important thing. We learn from our mistakes and hopefully on the next films that I create, they will be better. The issues will get fixed, blah, 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 blah. So hopefully you guys got a little bit of an insight out of my mindset. I think it's more of a ramble. But it's good to kind of get it out and hopefully you guys learnt something from this. Um, once again, make sure you go watch it. Big thank you to all those people that helped me out. Um, quite a bit of the live streams are still available on YouTube. So if you want, go back and check them out. I might even put a description in the link, link in the description. And let's leave it at that. Thank you very much guys for watching. Let me know if you like this kind of breakdown video. I don't know how much I did break down. <laughs> 